from Coach Dunphy, and then we'll turn the questions over to the players. Once you're, we're done with the player questions, we'll excuse them, and then we'll have questions for Coach Dunphy. Well, a very good win for us, and uh, happy to be here, uh, sitting here after a, a good first round victory. I thought we played fairly well throughout. Uh, I think McMurray's a really hard guy to guard. I thought Josh Brown did a terrific job on him. Uh, Chris Perry, who we did not play against the first two games, really was a, a very effective player for them today. Uh, I thought these two guys played well. I thought Jalen's pass to Devin Coleman underneath the basket to get us back to 14, I think, uh, was, a, was a critical play. I think Jalen made a lot of really good plays throughout. I'd like Obi to play more than 17 minutes, to be honest with you. We need him on the court. So. But he, he uh, started the second half, half off very well for us. So we need everybody over the next couple of days here. Hopefully we can continue to play okay. Please raise your hand for questions for the players. Uh, this question is for Obi. You know, you, you just heard from Coach that you, you didn't play as many minutes as he was hoping you'd play because you got into some early foul trouble. Uh, but what did you think of your teammate Mark who couldn't miss from three? Yeah, he definitely stepped up today. Um, you know, anytime I, I get in foul trouble or make some bad mis mistakes like that, um, it's good to have someone like Mark that can come in and uh, pick us up. And, you know, he had three threes today. So uh, that was big for us. I think he kept us in it and um, provided a spark off the bench. Uh, this one's for Jalen and Obi. You guys didn't face Chris Perry all year, like Coach just said. Uh, was it tough kind of facing him today after the game he had yesterday? Or um, um, yeah, uh, you know, like you said, we didn't uh, face him the first couple of times, but he's a great player. Um, he's a skilled player, so we just had to do the best thing we could, you know, on defense, you know, just make him score over our length. Jalen, a lot of people look at your points and rebounds numbers, but today you had four steals. Just what went so right for you in that aspect of your game? Um, just staying out of foul trouble early, you know, was able to uh, let me be more aggressive on the defensive end. I was like, able to come up with some easy steals and just being in the right place at the right time. And, uh, Jalen's I'm sorry, we're just taking questions for the players right now. Jalen, you've always had the physical gifts, but especially this season, uh, you, you're so much more polished. I mean, can, can you talk about how you've developed here at Temple, especially your relationship with Fred? Um, yeah, Coach Dunphy's a, a great coach. You know, um, this offseason I worked well with uh, a lot of the other coaches, you know, just polishing my game up, just getting prepared for this year. Jalen, Obi, um, obviously each team brings something else to the table that makes them effective. What is one thing about your team's DNA that makes you guys special, makes you guys uh, set apart yourselves from everybody else? Um, I think we have a lot of fight. Um, in the regular season, you know, we would have games where we'd be down 10, 12, 15 in the second half, and we'd be able to come back and win the game. Um, so I think that shows a lot of toughness and a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of fight, being able to come back like that. Um, I say our defense, you know, we uh, fire off our defensive energy and then that helps us, you know, offensively as well. So we focus mainly on uh, defense game, you know, three stops to start the games. Another for both of you guys, uh, can you talk a little bit about the drive you guys have this weekend, given what happened last year, not making the tournament and the importance this weekend? Um, yeah, our main goal is to uh, win this tournament, you know, to solidify us, so, you know, being an NCAA tournament, so that's our main goal right now. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, having that feeling from last year, we all remember it. We all remember how it felt um, not making the tournament. So uh, that's something that we all want to experience, getting to the tournament and, and uh, getting to play late in the season. So, um, you know, having that feeling in our minds and, and just remembering that, I think it's, it's motivated all of us. A question for Obi. You mentioned a little bit last year, you know, you guys made it to the semifinals in this tournament. That's where you guys, your season ended. What did you guys learn from that experience last year that you could potentially take into these last potential two games of the tournament? Um, you know, just how much toughness we need. Last year we didn't we didn't show up um, to the second game like we should have. I think if we came with a little bit more toughness, toughness and and uh, focus, just a little bit more focus, you know, we would have could have gone to the tournament. So um, I think we're all a lot more focused this year, and uh, we know what to expect and we're ready. Uh, for Jalen, you got hurt going into the SMU game. You're running 100 percent in the semifinals of last year. Is there an extra chip on your shoulder going to this year's tournament? Um, I wouldn't say it's an extra chip. You know, I just know how important it is, you know, me and my teammates. Uh, if our main goal is to make the tournament, we gotta, you know, win it here. Jim, the 
first half especially, you seemed like really, really focused on what was going on and wanted the ball, especially on the one play, if you might remember, the kick out to Obi, and then you, you demanded him right back, and he passed it back to you. Remember that play? Mm -hmm. That was kind of significant of, of how your first half was going. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, I just wanted to be aggressive, you know, starting off early. Um, I know my teammates have confidence in me, just like I have confidence in them. Um, so they were able to give me some easy buckets, and I just try to play as hard as I can for 40 minutes. Jalen, uh, you've had three of your best games right in a row right now. Did you talk about, is there any more <coughs> urgency and what your feeling is being a senior in this? Um, definitely. I know my time here is you know, winding down, so I'm just trying to give them 100% effort you know, to finish out my season strong for me and my teammates. Jalen and Obi, you guys had five players in double figures for the third time this season. Can you guys talk a little bit about like kind of how much of a team effort this was? I mean, just having everybody chip in like that. Um, yeah, I think again that says a lot about our team. We have a lot of players that can step up and, and make an impact on the game. So um, you know, we can have that many players in double figures. Obviously, it's gonna um, you know, it's gonna help us and we're probably gonna win the game. So um, just having so many people that can step up and, and play like that, you know, it means a lot for the team. Any other questions for our players? Thank you, gentlemen. We'll begin now with questions for Coach Dumphy. Hey, Fran, uh, is it fair to guess that maybe the last 30 seconds there where Josh sat or probably the only, the only time he's going to sit down here this weekend? Uh, we talked about it a little bit in the, in the locker room. Him a little bit. I wish I could have done it sooner, but he's, uh, he's a very, very valuable commodity for us. It's, uh, it's a good observation. I think we, he's, he's so valuable to us. Fran, how about the performance today by Mark Williams? Yeah, Mark was great. I think he felt it early. Uh, he made that big jumper. His first big jumper was, was great in the first half, and then I thought he made another one in the second half that really, again, gave us that separation. So uh, it's nice when you have that ability coming off the bench and you know there are some games where he's feeling it pretty good and obviously we were benefiting greatly by it today. Uh, Coach, how do you feel uh, knowing that you know Quinn Nicosi really didn't have a big game today? Uh, like how comfortable do you feel going to you know games like later on this tournament without you know him providing that much uh, offensive uh, you know production for you guys? Well he had 14 points and eight rebounds we'll take that. Uh, he, he can shoot it better probably, and he can shot select a little bit better, but Q's are uh, so important for what it is that we do. He's that reliable guy that we know we can go to him to get points. And I thought even late when he, he missed a lap but got the rebound back and got fouled and made two foul shots. Those are important plays for us to have from him. Uh, but he's obviously going to play a lot of minutes. He's going to have a lot of responsibility, and uh, I think he'll be okay. Same question I asked Jalen earlier. You know, he certainly had the physical gifts when he arrived on campus, but he now looks as polished as he's ever looked. Would you agree with that assessment? And how has his game developed for us? Uh, well, I, I, I think as Mark noted, his last number of games have been very good. I think he's really in a comfort zone now, and I hope that it stays that way. Uh, he's rebounding it pretty well. He had a couple of stick backs today, and I thought he uh, his pass, as I said to uh, Coleman Lee, as I see the score, it was 14 back to 16, but it was an important play for us to stop momentum by the other team. And so if he can add that piece to it, get an assist, no turnovers, that'll be a great opportunity for us to be even better. So, but he's, uh, his teams have won a lot of games over the last couple of years, and I think his leadership is showing through as well. Uh, Fran, I, I know this is probably something you don't want to think about, but are you guys in, do you think, at this point, right now? You know, we got. UConn or Cincinnati tomorrow, and that's what we're, we're, we're thinking about, Mark. Okay, Fran, even in OB 17 minutes, he got off about a dozen shots. You know, is that a really good thing for your team, to him, for him to be able to you know, always get those looks? Uh, for sure. I mean, he, and when he, when he is guarded like he is, oftentimes when it, there are games where he doesn't get, like he got 10 shots today. There are, there are games where he plays more minutes and has less shots. That's because he is a, a focused, he, the focus of the opposition is on him. And that's when his ability to make plays for his teammates has to kick in. So uh, 
but he's a threat, and he's a, he's a foreman who other foremen have to go out and guard, and that's not easy for those guys to do. So we'd like to get him that many shots for sure. Being the, being the regular season conference champions, do you feel like there's a little bit of a target on your back, and how important was it to get this first game out of the way and get some confidence heading into tomorrow? Well, I think it's a really good win for us, uh, just as it was last year when we beat Memphis in the first game. But we played a really good SMU game, team in the second game. Uh, we'll play a really good team tomorrow in the second game. So we have to be uh, really focused and, and ready to go. So uh, it, it's important. Each game is critical. Uh, I don't know that it has anything to do with where we are in terms of our seed. I think any one of a number of teams can win this tournament. It's a terrific league, very Coach, balanced. Coach, uh, Devontae Watson got in the final 30, 45 seconds of the game. Just what does he do for you guys in practice? Because obviously his minutes have diminished this year a lot. I think what, what we need from Devontae always is a, is a terrific attitude, and he's been great, absolutely been great. He works hard at practice. He's not down because he's not playing on significant minutes. I'm sure he's frustrated and disappointed he's not playing those minutes, but it's never affected us as a team, and I, I value that greatly. And Obi, just a couple minutes ago, you know, was looking back to last year and said they didn't show up for that second game. Yeah, they, I, they, I would disagree with that. Okay. I thought SMU was really a good team last year and was a really good team this year. Uh, I'm not sure he thought that much about the answer that he gave, but I thought we played and we had a lead in the second half against them. So I'm not sure if he meant we didn't show up early or we didn't show up late or we didn't show up at halftime or whatever. But uh, Obi and I have a discussion. That said, um, how much of, a, of an emphasis are you putting on them that, that they need to control their own thing? Well, we, we talk about the next the next opportunity for us, and that's tomorrow. <clears throat> it's going to be against either one of two very good basketball teams. So uh, these guys understand. They understand how hard the game is going to be. And we have to play our best basketball. Fran, you talk about how good this league is. Um, does, does outside the league, do, does the league give that much credit nationally, enough credit? I, I think many of the people in our profession respect our league and the teams that are in it. And uh, so I think that's the number one uh, idea we want to get across. I hope that people are <coughs> paying more attention to us and giving us some, some really good credit. But we have some really good teams, very well coached teams, a lot of really good players. Some really good programs as well who have had a lot of success over the years. Coach, how much does uh, having Ernest this year help when your big men get into foul trouble? I mean, he didn't play big minutes tonight, but how much does that help having him? Well, Ernest's future is extremely bright. bright. He, uh, he works very, very hard. and His time is going to come, and I thought he did what he could do today. He got a rebound, and uh, he did talk to him a little bit at halftime. He took a bad route to get Cousins uh, on, a, on a stop that we needed to make, but but Ernst, tremendous, and again, uh, phenomenal attitude, and one of the fine young men that I've ever, young men that I've ever had a chance to coach. Coach, even though you swept both of the Cincinnati and UConn in the regular season, um, how do you prepare your team to face them for a third time when you know it's going to be an emotional game? Well, they're a really good basketball team, and we need to we need to play our best basketball game. Our guys know that. They, uh, all four of those games were were very very close, and uh, a shot at one end. And a miss at the other is what those games came down to. Uh, I'm very impressed with both those teams, and uh, we better be ready to go. Fran, both of those teams have freshmen who are playing pretty significant roles, more so than earlier. Are those some names you're going to have to reintroduce to your players who played them? Yeah, we'll watch a, a ton of film. I actually, we'll watch. Most of us will watch this game now, and so uh, luckily we can, we'll only have to concentrate our efforts on one team in a couple of hours from now, but uh, yeah, uh, but our guys have watched a lot of film. We've seen both of these teams on film when we played other teams as well, so they're pretty uh, pretty bright about looking at what, what's going to face them tomorrow, so they'll know. Coach, uh, when you're coming down the stretch and you have a big lead like that, um, how do you make sure your guys keep their edge knowing that they have a tough opponent tomorrow? You know, I, again, I thought USF had no quit in them. They, McMurray made some tough shots down the stretch, so we knew that uh, this wasn't going to be uh, a significant gap. Uh, so I thought our guys did a pretty good job at that. I thought we 
they made some big shots down the stretch. And, but Dan Dingle made a great follow just to keep that, that space between us and them. And I thought Dan Dingle made a great a read on an out-of-bounds play for a three-point play, too, which was really critical for our success as well. So I think these guys understand. Coach, you, you this is the best 40 minutes you've played continually all season. Uh, well, I, I, I'd like to I'll see the film first. I, I'd like to have turned it a few less times than we turned it. Uh, I thought we, we made a couple of mistakes in that second half. We, I thought we played well. I thought we did a good job, and uh, I think USF has made great strides throughout the throughout the year. They're going to be a, uh, a tough, tough out in the coming years. Thank you, Coach. Right, thanks.